what's up everybody it's a little windy out here i'm sorry for the extremely bad audio that this camera puts out but uh what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to be working on a Bissell um uh, pro heat uh, it is the model number nine four zero 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 five three five one c the uh it will not spray water out I've tried different things and from different videos that I've watched and uh, so far nothing works. So what we're going to do is that we're going to actually take out the heater, uh, or the heater core, and we're going to clean it out to see if maybe that is the problem. And some of the videos that I've seen doesn't really show everything, so I decided to do my own video to show you what I do in order to get this to work. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see if we can't actually get this thing to spray some water so I can use it to clean a spot on the floor that I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so <clears throat> we got six screws, so we can go ahead and take out the six screws. they don't fall off you got two screws over here on the sides okay so let's go ahead and remove this all the way around I had to use this right here, which is uh, used to get uh, uh, strip screws, not <laughs> stripped screws out. And so I had to use it to actually get this one to come off because it was so rusted that I could not get a grip on it. It's like I can't get a grip on it with that one. Okay, so. What you do with this, you gotta be very careful. What you do with this is that you just use your hammer. You gotta remember that you're doing this on plastic so you cannot do it too hard. But it seems as if these two screws right here, as you can see that right there, is rusted real bad. And uh, what happens is that this part right here is where any type of water is gonna seep down. It's gonna seep up in here because of this. And it's going to get in these two areas. These right here are fine. It's just right here where it gets caught up into it. Okay, so we got two screws back here. So we need to take these two screws out so this part can come off. I've got this sitting on the table and we're outside, so move that over. Okay, so we got, uh, well, it looks like one, two, three. I don't think that one needs to come out, but I'll probably have to take it out. So we got three or four screws that's got to be taken out here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is that we've got a white and orange wire over here on the back side. These two right here, we're going to go ahead and remove these. Well, I reckon we was, but we're not. So the orange and the purple. It's actually the orange one, if we can get it off. Okay, and then the purple one down here, so on this side, the orange, and on this side, the purple. Okay, so that right there will get these two wires out of our way. And now what we need to do here 
is that we need to be able to bring this up so we need to okay that hose needs to stay so this hose right here which is going to be coming around on the back side so we need to take off this top one right here needs to come off this out of the way so that we can actually access this hose clamp move it down and then we can bring this hose off watch out for the water spray okay so we got that one off so that goes down to there We got this one right here that can pop off. Okay. okay. So we got one more over here that needs to come off as well. picked up moved we're just gonna set this over here put this up right here all right so that's what we need to get to right there Take this. I think it's nice and hot from whenever I had it plugged up earlier. So we're just going to turn this over like this without unhooking everything. We're going to take this towel right here. We're going to set this up underneath here. So I'm going to take off these screws. So that's what we look like on the inside and it is clogged up a little bit so we're going to get this thing cleaned out I got to go get a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver to get some of this stuff out and also I need to make up a vinegar water solution to also pour inside this uh, be right back okay so what we're going to do is that we're just going to simply just clean out all this stuff I mean yeah Now what we want to do is I've taken some some vinegar, some distilled vinegar, and some water. I'm just gonna basically we're just gonna pour it in here. Okay, I took the pliers, I took off this little lock right here, and I'm going to ease this off, make sure that you got your, your rag up underneath here. Just 
Okay. What we need to do now is that we need to uh, unclog this line right here. Okay, so we're going to use a paper clip. Just going to simply bring it out like that. Okay. And then we're going to It's a lot easier if you want to take off all these wires and everything, disconnect everything. It's a lot easier just to take this thing and and uh, take it off and clean it out that way. Because this is really a pain to clean it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Q-tip. I'm going to use a Q-tip to go in here. Okay, we've got this put back on. It was a pain in the ass to get back on. So we're just going to finish putting the screws in here. Okay, after you get these two sides put on, you take this right here, set it right there, and it clamps down. Like so. So then the only thing you got to do is take the screw, screw it on, and now you got the front part attached. What you gotta do is hook up these hoses. We got three of them here, then we got to attach this piece right here. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. Okay, okay you can actually take this, see where the, the inner part of the seal is, turn it upside down. And set it right there on the outside of it, like so. And then take this. Set it right there. Get your screw put in. Okay, now this is very important. These coming in, you got this one right here for the spring, and then this one right here goes to the canister that's sitting right back here. So this one right here is going to go like this, it's going to go to the bottom, and then the spring is going to go to the top. So the spring goes to the top, and the one to the canister goes to the bottom. And then your uh, your hose that goes to the back side of the canister goes to the far right side. And then the long hose that comes down to the bottom here goes to the center one, the one that has the clamp on it. Okay, so now let's take these screws and put them up here. Okay, so now we take this right here. Go ahead and get it cleaned off as well. I 
whole thing is going to smell like vinegar because that is the smell that is on this towel. Okay, so set it on there like so. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. We're going to take out, make sure that it's clean, and it's definitely not clean. We're going to take off this. Are you able to see this? Probably not. Okay, so this right here, uh, I'll show you right here. You just take this, you pinch these two pieces together, and then we just simply pull that out like that. And this definitely needs to be clean because it is dirty. So we're going to clean them both here. Take your right here and clean this thing up you can see all that stuff coming out there Put the pliers right here and take my vinegar whoops took my vinegar water solution and just sit here and do that and to help get everything cleaned out, get all that lint out of there. And uh, try not to spill it like what I just did. Don't want to mess. Whoa, Bobby. Okay, so that's all clean. Now we just take this, hold it up. Put that in there, turn it over. like that. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Okay, so I got that off. And you see how dirty that is. Let's bring this up, Yonder. So you can see right there inside of there. I mean, it's all clogged up. Just a mess. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just clean out all of this. And as we did the last one, we're just going to hold it like so. Try not to spill it this time. If you don't like vinegar, you're definitely not going to like doing this. But anyway, so that's got that nice and clean. Let's go ahead and set this in there. There we go. So now let's take this. Okay, you can, oops, you can see right there. Go ahead and zoom in on this. You can see. All right, you can see right there where it's got the two indentions. That's where these go in. Set them like that. A lot easier than what I did the first one. Okay, so that's got everything put together and everything's clean. So now all thing we got to do is. Uh, Put it down on the ground and try it out. I need to get these screws put back in over here. Okay, so. Alright, so we are going to get this down on the ground and see if it works. Okay, let's do a video of it. I've already tried it out. And uh, it seems to be working. Ugh. 
well, it seems to be working. Uh, I'm going to have to test it out some more because something doesn't seem to be doing right. Um, it's not creating enough water on the floor. So I'm going to have to mess around with it some more. I mean, it seems... I just... I'm not really sure. Just going to have to wait and see, see how it works. But anyway, that is basically how you clean the... Uh, the heater core or coil and uh, the two lines up front okay so uh, good luck and uh, hopefully this thing will work right y'all have a good one now bye bye oh, what's up Wayne Barron here with my vlog and some cool shades coming in from the trees and stuff it looks really cool but anyway we're going to be working on a bezel, is that right? Bezel Pro Clear 490 something. 